Hey, welcome guys. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to get Amazon Prime Video on the NVIDIA Shield on the assumption that it's missing. So basically, um, if you're living in the USA, you're fine. You shouldn't have to worry about this. But um, for my example, I'm up here in Canada and we do have Amazon Prime Video service available. But for some reason, I don't know if it was people at NVIDIA or Amazon, they decided to hide the Amazon app on the NVIDIA Shield if you're not living in the USA. So here in Canada, we do have the service, but it's hidden. So I'm going to show you four methods I know to bring it back. And I'm going to start with the easiest methods, which require almost no effort on your part to the more complicated methods if it's still not working. So basically put, the first thing you have to do, again, I'm in Canada, is go to your system settings menu, go all the way down to location, and basically turn location services off. So basically you're telling NVIDIA Shield that, hey, you don't need to know where I am, it's fine. And what I notice is that when you do that, the Amazon Prime video will kind of appear on this list after maybe two or three minutes automatically. There you go, it just appeared. And if I go into it, it'll work just fine. If it doesn't appear right away, I notice that a reboot will make it appear no matter what. The second you turn location services back on though, um, it does disappear. So you can see that Amazon Prime video is working just fine. So the other method, is to, uh, let's just exit out here, is a bit more intrusive of your setup, is basically to do a factory reset of your entire device. And when you're going through the setup process, make sure when it says like, hey, do you wanna, do you wanna allow your location to be enabled? Just say no. Um, another method is a bit more complex, uh, is to download an app on the Google Play Store called ES File Explorer. What this basically does is allow you to navigate files and folders within your NVIDIA Shield. So it is a bit cumbersome to navigate. Uh, if you can see where the kind of the, the gray highlighted area, that's where I'm navigating. It's a bit annoying to navigate, but when you get the hang of it, it this will kind of help you get Amazon Prime Video. Um, so essentially, if you have a USB stick and you've downloaded the APK file of Amazon Prime Video, you could load it from your USB stick. Now, wherever you get it from the internet, please be careful. You don't want to uh, download something that has a virus potentially. So if you have it from a safe source, you plug in a USB stick, you should get an option that ES File Explorer will be like, hey, can we access your USB stick? Just say yes. And if you go to the side here on the left, uh, sorry, I went a bit too far. You should have like an option here, like local storage. And then you have internal storage and you should have something like SD card or USB stick. Um, and there you'll see your file somewhere here in the middle and you just install it. Um, the other method, the last one, the fourth one, is a bit more complicated, but it, it works. So essentially, um, so let's just do this. Uh, so you leave location services off, but we'll pretend we're doing this step from the get-go. So again, I have to go to ES File Explorer. And uh, one thing I want to mention, actually, is no matter which of these steps you follow, please be sure to keep location services off, no matter what. If you want to use Amazon Prime Video, it doesn't matter which step you're following, you must keep location off, okay? So Amazon Prime Video, the file is available. It's just hidden in the system. So while you're in ES File Explorer, you have to go down to Library, then down to App, and here it's going to display a list of all the apps I've loaded, okay? So these are the ones I've downloaded, I've loaded on the side, wherever it may be but we want to display all the apps that exist in the system. So this little drop down right here, if I can navigate to it, again, it's really difficult. I have to kind of go to the side here. See, I've highlighted user app, uh, select that, and then go to system apps. Now this is going to display all the apps in the system and you're going to navigate all the way down. Uh, why did it do that? It's kind of going a bit crazy. I have to be, do a bit slower. Like I said, uh, ES File Explorer is great, but it's a bit finicky in terms of navigation. Just keep going all the way down, just be patient. And here, way at the bottom, you have Amazon Video. And using the gaming controller, the, uh, the NVIDIA gaming controller, you're gonna long press A on this icon. It's gonna select it. What you wanna do now is go to, just kind of, it's hard to navigate, but you wanna go here to backup at the bottom. Okay. So what you want to do now at this point is go back to your folder navigation on the side. I want to go to your local internal storage, right? So here, what you're going to do now is basically go to ES File Backups. Um, then you want to go to Apps 
and there, this is the backup you just created. You select it, hit install, it'll install Amazon Prime Video and you're good to go. So it's really easy to get Amazon Prime Video up and running. Uh, you just have to know the steps. So I do hope you guys found this video useful. Again, as long as you turn location services off, it'll work just fine. It's working for me in Canada. And that's pretty much it. So if you guys found this video useful, be sure to check my Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Instagram. Links in the video description. Hit that like button. It does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.